Recently, 3D prints has become popular. This technique consists of creating pre previously designed pieces with an additive. This additive is called PLA. PLA is a total biodegradable polymer made of plants, and its main component is corn. During printing, it's very common the waste of PLA on poorly parts or supports. For these reasons, we decided to create a machine called PLA Recycle Machine in order to take advantage of the 100% of PLA. The project consists of three stages, crushing machine, extruder machine and winding machine. In the first stage, which is the crushing machine, it's charge of crushing the material, leaving small pieces of the same size and thus facilitating the next stage. In the second stage, the extruder machine, the material is heated and melted. Internally, the material moves until it reaches the nozzle. When goes through out the nozzle, the new filament is created. Finally, in the winding machine, the filament is connected and begins to spin a new reel. In order to do the second stage of our project, we need to have small pieces of material. Therefore, we decided to implement a crushing machine, which has the main task to reduce the 3D printed parts to a small pieces that we need. To share the movement from an axis to another, we use one-to-one -one transmission with helical gears, which has a better gear resistance. We made different motion studies to verify the correct material and properties for our, our gears getting good results. We use a CAB FASIC motor with a power of 2 horsepower, connected by a band using a 3 to 1 transmission, in that way we increase its power. The type of bed that we use is TV, and we select this using the table based on the power of the motor. Then we made some calculations to obtain the central distance between the PLAs. The current disc was designed having the intention to create a mishmash between all the current discs, getting a better development of our crush machine, avoiding some type of conflict when we were using it. The crushing machine could be dangerous for the worker. In this case, we decided to implement a kind of container with its respective tab. In this way, when, we, when the worker insert the print part into the machine, he won't be directly in touch with the cooling disc, avoiding all type of risk for the worker. For the second stage of our project, we are going to have two parts. The main one is going to be the extruder. The extruder has three parts. One is a deposit that we are going to throw there, all the pieces of the PLA. Then is a spindle that is, this is going to transport all the PLA. Then we are have uh, different elect electronic ceramic rings that are going to be in charge of melt all the PLA. To ensure that our extruder being more precise, the barrel does not suffer damage from the heat caused by the rings, we decide to carry out a thermal study to verify that our pipe is more than capable of withstanding the effect that the rings will have on it, ensuring a life longer useful. Uh, for the next part of this stage, we are going to have at the beginning a comparator clock that is going to be uh, checking all the diameter of the PLA that we are extruding. Then we are going to have three different fans to reduce the temperature of the PLA to be able to work with it. For the winder machine, we decide to use Rodan Angle PTR. Also, to ensure the correct torque, we decide to use a transmission from 1 to 2.5 and helical gears to increase its useful life. The welding technique we will use is SMAW, which is the electric arc welding process between a coat electron and a base metal. This uses the arc heat to melt the base metal and tip of a consumable electrode. The electrode and base metal are part of an electric circuit or welding circuit. An advantage of this is that it is simple, portable and inexpensive equipment. It has relatively high metal deposition rates. The electrode that we will use will be the E6030 since it goes from 90 to 100 and 25 amperes of 1.8 road with a voltage of 110 
voltage. The paint that we will use will be in order to achieve user safety. And for cutting the material, we can say that in some pieces it is necessary to use CNC machinery such as the Haas BM machine, which is has three axis machine X, Y, and C, and in others thickness and work need plasma cutter. The code for our CNC that we will use is basic and as we know it is also repetitive. We will use the code G and the M. The G code is used to detail the movement of the operation to be executed. This code is classified into groups and each group of code will have a certain number that will have a specific instruction. There are certain codes that we use that remain active until another code of the same is replaced. Some commands that we use are Firstly, for a lot of pieces we will use the G21 since it gives the input the millimeter values, the G91 that is used for the relative coordinates, the G28 that returns to the zero point of the machine which is home, the M06 that makes the program change of the tool, and the M03 which rotates the spinkle clockwise. The following codes are different in some commands, for example in the cutter we use the command G90 that makes us of the absolute coordinates and G41 that compensates to the left of the cutter. For the crusher shaft we also use here the G90, G00 which is a linear feed of the cutter at high speed to position the cut and the G43 which gives the longitudinal compensation. For the washer, the use of the G91, G41, G00 is repeated, but we also use the G54. And finally, the support for this, we also need the M03, G43, G41, G54, among others. It is important to mention that the comments are just some of those ones that we use. In the parts of the assembly, we will rely on the animation and as you can see the crusher, the extruder and the rollers are mounted on the main base. We mention it like this because it was very slow to comment on each process. Uh, well, uh, in the case of the controller, uh, our team decided that the implementation of this uh, was not necessary because we have a system of buttons uh, that have a good function in our station and, and the main system. Uh, the next part is about uh, our components. Uh, I'm going to mention uh, the most important parts of each station. Uh, the first one is about our crusher, that uh, the main part of this is our motor, that is of uh, 2 HP, uh, because uh, we, wanted, we wanted a motor uh, that has a good torque, and then we have the implementation of a key button to start the engine, and a stop, a emergency stop button. Uh, the next one is the extruder. Uh, in this case, the most important part of this is the PID. With this, we control the temperature that we want to implement in our extruder. Uh, then we have the thermocouplers to measure the temperature. And finally, we have a computer fans for the freezing system. And finally, we have uh, all within a station. And here we have uh, two motors of uh, 12 volts with 280 RPM. And then we have a limit switch uh, to know if we have a PLA a wheel uh, to try to avoid the waste of energy.
Talking about the electrical circuit, as I have already said, we don't use a controller for our system. And as you can see in our first diagram, we have a system of on and off a button in each station for the safety of the system and the operator. And finally, to avoid any damage to our buttons, we implement a relay system for this situation. For better security, we implement also a condition in each station to start the system. We are talking about a limit switch that if it doesn't mark a value, the system will not start. In our second diagram, we can see how each component is connected within our PID, which gave us the advantage of not using a controller because it already has a predetermined program that makes our circuit easier. About our electricity consumption, as you can see in our table, we have the approximate consumption value of each of our components that give us a total of 1,373.4 kilowatts. We establish a working time of our machine of 8 hours. So calculating how much is consumed per month gives us a total of 329.616 kilowatts per month. For the part of cost, as we know, the project have three stages. For the first stage, the crusher machine, we are going to spend 4,877. 4, for the extruder machine, uh, we are going to spend uh, 1,316. And for the winning machine, we are going to spend thousand and a hundred and two actually uh, we have another expenses that are the manufacturing cost and we are going to spend six thousand and nine hundred and eight and with with this part we are going to generate uh, some jobs for another persons the total cost of our machine is for, for 14,803 and we are going to sell the project for 20,000.